a lifetime. I'll be there when you need to. Just call on, receive me, sweet baby. Won't you be my, my love boy for a lifetime? I'll be there when you need to. Just call and receive me. And it look, I will play to you so damn fine mm -hmm. We be making late night phone call On the telephone Y'all know y'all know a good song And you just forget the lyrics You just know the chords Sweet baby Won't you be my My love boy for a lifetime, oh, be there when you need to. Just call and receive soon. Sweet baby, won't you be my, my love boy for a lifetime? So be there when you need me. Just call and receive me. Will be my sweet lover. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta enjoy life. I like to sing. I I I I I I cut a trip on karaoke all the time. I go have me a drink, and I start off strong, y'all. But once that drink get in me, that drink and that thing, I don't. I'm not a a a, a, a heavy drinker. Never have been. Never will be. So my tolerance is very 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 low so one drink had me on 10 and anybody that where i'm from know when i be in karaoke i just be cutting up but it's all about having fun though and it's about just just living life a lifetime oh Peter, when you need me just call soon receive me and and those of y'all that know me know i can blow like i can blow I'm, I'm a little drunk. I be drunk. So I can really blow. And it's all about entertainment. I come out to entertain you guys like I want to be entertained. So I want to hear people out there on the karaoke and give me a smile to go home and say, you know what? She did her thing. And that's all. We got to show each other love. So again, it's all good. Sing, dance, whatever you got to do. Just do it. With a kind heart and grace. So this is Susie coming again in 2, two, two 2022. Come on, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm ready to blow this channel up. I'm ready to talk about what you want to talk about. I'm going to give y'all a different perspective from a country girl. You understand me? I was raised in, in Louisiana. Uh, old hick town called Oak Grove. Shout out to Oak Grove. Look, um, surrounding areas, uh, Monroe. Um, Lake Providence, um, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, you know, it's all good down there in the dirty, dirty south, you know, half the time, uh, you don't know everybody your cousin, you know what I'm saying, we gonna, we gonna get on another video about that, but shout out to the south, baby, um, I remember my mom relocated in Chicago, she went to Chicago for a better life for us, I'm the baby of 10, yeah, down south, they just pop them, pop them, pop them, pop them, pop them, okay? I think my mama got about, what, 19 siblings, and she had 10 of her own, so we come from a huge family. But I remember going to the, to the upper north in Chicago, and I remember, um, I remember high school. And them people used to come in high school, Krigger, Crane, high school. You sit there and be smoking blunts, and, like, the teacher was not even teaching Shit, long as you showed up, you passed to the next grade. I know now in the 2022, there's no left, no child left behind, but we got technology that you can hook on fine and your baby just will sit in with a computer. Even babies, they, they can't even talk and move to the right, move to the left, and no A, B, C, D. You know, it's like trying technology that to advance so much. But I remember me growing up, and you could just show it up in those Chicago city school and they just pass you along compared to me being down south and they taught us lessons. They was prejudiced, of course. But they taught us lessons. Real shit. 
and we had to do exam in order to pass like you had to be somewhat intelligent to go to the next grade you had to know the basics you had to read and, and at the competent level that they wanted you to read at in order to pass to the next grade so shout out to lake parish county y'all know who y'all is this is this is Susie. I, I know i made my mark there um back in the day you know that interracial shit didn't play you know what i'm saying but you know maybe i was experiencing a little jungle fever because some of them football players was hot baby they was hot and i was just so outspoken that i had to let them know so you know i guess that wasn't proper protocol back then but it is what it is shit shot them out they looked it good and i ain't had no problem telling them they looked it good so um i survived it and came through so shout out to them schools down there they did an awesome job with me and um they won't be forgotten so i guess the message is today you live you learn and you pass it on so again this is Susie coming to you in the 2022 with words of empowerment positive encouragement and peace and joy hopefully you got some if not go find it i want everybody to like comment and subscribe to my channel until we meet again we gonna try to win at this thing called life